deadline, Odell Beckham Jr. wasn't shipped out of Cleveland. This came even after LeBron tried to use his sway to get Beckham moved, tweeting in the morning, quote, OBJ will show again why he's special. Wide receiver one, hashtag free OBJ. So, Shannon, how surprised were you that LeBron got involved here on this? Not surprised at all. Yes, yes you are. I, I can tell by the way you open. Actually, I'm not, because LeBron James views Odell as a friend. Um, how close they are, I'm not really sure, but I believe he views him as a friend. And although the Cleveland Browns may be LeBron's favorite team, supposedly, he values friendship over team. Does he, he? he wow. He's made that abundantly clear. Mm. You see how he left Cleveland? <laughs> you see how he left Miami? Mm. You see how he left Cleveland again? He has these relationships, Skip, and LeBron James loves to see greatness. And he believes that LeBron, uh, uh, Odell's greatness is not allowed, is not being allowed to be seen. Yep. I've said this. It's time to move on. You and I have talked about this this offseason when Odell had the offseason had the surgery on his knee. I, and you and I both agreed it was time for Odell to be moved. Absolutely. For whatever reason, Skip, I, I don't know. I don't know why it has not worked for Odell in Cleveland. I don't know why he and Baker does not have better chemistry than what they have. Mm -hmm. But for whatever, it does not matter why. It is that it's not working. And so now it's time to move on. It's okay. Now look. I get it. Maybe someone wasn't willing to to offer you a first round or second round or third round. I don't know what. I don't even know. I, I think nobody offered them any rounder. I think somebody would have took him off his hand for a seventh round pick. I, I do. don't know. But well, if you feel that strongly about it, let him go. Cut him. I said yesterday I would cut him. If and, I were in charge, I would cut and him. And then allow him to go where he you feels can, that he can be. His services can be best used, Skip. And I think that's the biggest thing. LeBron James, like man. I've seen this guy perform at a very, very high level. I still believe he can perform at a high level. But for whatever for whatever reasons, it's not happening. And I would have loved to have seen it happen for my team. Mm. I am from Ohio, grew up about 90 minutes from Cleveland. That's my team. And I would like to see my friend perform really well for my team. Mm. But it has not happened. Mm. And I'm tired of seeing, I'm tired of seeing and hearing how this guy can't do it anymore. And I'm watching the games and just like that video that his dad sent. <laughs> Daddy went out there, didn't he? Mm -hmm. That's what his dad did. Mm, we'll talk about that in a few <laughs> minutes. That's a whole nother issue. But Skip, I'm not I'm not surprised. Because LeBron, I believe LeBron views him as a very close friend. I can assure you they probably have each other's phone number. They probably communicated. And LeBron is like, enough of this. Y'all not using him like you're supposed to be used. Let him go. Mm. Just move on. Either trade him or release him. You couldn't find a trade partner. Let him go. Mm. Because it's hard for me to believe, Skip, over the what? We got nine weeks to go. I think, yeah, nine weeks. I think everybody, whatever the records are, Skip. I believe over the next nine weeks, I don't believe, how is the chemistry going to get better? when it hadn't gotten better in two years. So all of a sudden, magically, mm. what are the two parties? And now, we're going to talk, like you mentioned, we're going to talk about this later. Looking at you, man, I ain't throwing you the ball. Man, I ain't running hard for you either. Mm. Okay, you finished? <laughs> yeah, I'm finished. My turn. As you know all too well, I am a lifelong, diehard Dallas Cowboy fan. Right. I was a born and raised Oklahoma Sooner fan. And trust me, we got gnats in here because they're, <laughs> they're, they're smelling. Nah, they're, nah, nah, you, they're on your you, arguments. Yeah. You, you, because you're talking about my gold James. You set them free in here <laughs> just to come sick me. <laughs> my point to you is that nothing comes between me and my Cowboys or my Sooners. Right. Not friendship, not love. Ernestine knew from day one, when they are on, I'm in front of the television. She, she cannot ask me to do anything. I guess if she had to go to the hospital, I'm knocking on wood, I would go to the hospital, but I wouldn't do it happily. Ernestine, yeah. if the Cowboys are on and Oklahoma's on, take them back to one of those TVs. Yeah. That's gonna get his attention. Okay, my point is, LeBron is supposed to be a Cleveland Browns fan because he grew up just down the road in Akron, <laughs> Ohio. That's what we're supposed to believe. Right. I don't believe it at all because right. I believe that he's been a lifelong diehard Dallas Cowboy fan. And I believe if this had been a Cowboy situation, he would not have intervened the way he did. Because if you're a true blue, or in this case, true orange Cleveland Brown right. fan, true brown Cleveland Brown fan, however you want to say it, you, you would you would tweet about hey let's let's make this work no, or you, you you would tweet about I've seen enough get him out of our sight right that's a Browns fan that's no 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 friends 
That's, huh? your, that's one of your friends. Okay, but there is no way that a true blue, diehard, true brown Cleveland Browns fan would would attack the Browns over this because that tweet is attacking the team he's supposed to yeah. love. He is trying to create dissension within the ranks of the Browns by saying, free Odell. Free. Free him. Yeah. Let him go somewhere else where he will rise and shine again. That's what LeBron yeah. is tweeting. Yeah. I could not believe it. I was stunned by I it could. because it's a bad look for LeBron to try to tear apart, undercut, criticize uh, to the point of ridiculing his Cleveland Browns. It's just wrong. That's what he's saying. You, he's saying, you guys screwed this up. It's not his fault. It's your fault. Now let him go elsewhere. That's what he was saying. Yeah, but I know you remember the movie Amistad mm -hmm. and Jamin Hansu's character, yep. Sinke. When they had him in court and he just kept uttering one thing, give us free. <laughs> give us free. So we're going to compare. Give that. us free. Odell. Give Odell free. Oh, God. I will give me a T-shirt. Odell, give me a T-shirt. Free OBJ. That's okay. what I want to wear. Like they say, free Pedro. Yeah. Free Odell. Skip, he's not doing it. You Every week you come in here and all you do is show, this is the fourth down catch. Odell dropped. This is it. Odell dropped it. Odell did this. Yeah. Why, don't, aren't you tired of showing video clips of Odell not yeah. being where he's supposed to be and dropping the football? Why not let him go somewhere else? It's a miserable situation yes. for everybody involved. Clearly. He is clearly, as far as the Browns are concerned, more he has become more trouble to them than he is yes. worth. We saw the Charles Robinson report yesterday on Yahoo that we talked about, mm -hmm. in which he said he's virtually untradeable. He's quoting AFC GM saying, where is the value in him? You have to pay eight million of his salary over the, the remaining games this year. And his his production has declined each of the last four years. His right. yards per game have gone down, down, yes, down. Yes, they have. Is it injury related? Sure, it is. Yes. Is, is he maybe physically a shell of what he used I to be? I think a lot of it's quarterback related too. Okay. Well, you can argue that, but I don't. I believe that it's Odell related because he's a solo act. He's a he's sort of like a Westbrook, except. His best performances are in the pregame. He puts on Globetrotter-esque shows yeah. in the pregame, which I would pay to see. But I don't see it manifest itself during the football yeah. game. I don't know what has happened. And once he starts, he, he's one of the all-time divas, and I think his heart is in the right place, but his mind isn't always in the right place. And once he goes south, he's going to pout. He's going to sulk. He's not going to run his routes hard. And he has to be the center of attention. And he had it great with the Giants in the Big Apple. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he wanted out, and he gets shipped to Cleveland. Right. And I don't think he ever made peace with being in no. Cleveland, Ohio. I'm sorry, yeah, I, and, and I don't care how big a New friend. York to Cleveland. Yeah, okay, but but LeBron, you know, he, he actually fakes being a Cleveland Brown fan. Oh, well, when goodness. they get hot, when they're winning, I'm a Brown fan. I'm on side. They not I'm hot. There. That's the, 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 that's what happened yesterday. He's off the bandwagon because it's blown a couple of tires. Yeah, y'all ain't been hot. <laughs> y'all ain't been hot in, in uh, 30 years. Since, eight, 80, since the 80s. Eight That's, and three down the stretch last year as Baker went 20 touchdowns to only three interceptions, ranked fourth in that stretch by pro football focus among all NFL quarterbacks, won a playoff game against your arch rival at Pittsburgh, all without Odell Beckham Jr. What about that resume? Period, end of story. That resume. I'm not going to be able to hire you for this job because your resume okay, hasn't you updated. you saw it, and I said it before the year started. I saw Odell. I loved what the Browns had on paper, but I kept saying they've got an Odell problem, and now they kept their Odell problem. they got Odell a Baker problem. Mayfield problem. No, they got an Odell problem. No. It starts with Odell. No, it starts with the quarterback. <sighs> oh, now all of a sudden, that's, that's dependent, who plays a dependent position mm -hmm. versus the guy that has the ball in every hand. Now you blaming the receiver for the transgression of the quarterback. 34 targets he has been thrown. He's caught 17. That's 50%. And as you well know, being the Hall of Fame receiver that you are, I, that's lousy. That's not good. Yeah. But I also, Baker Mayfield has killed a lot of a lot of bugs, a lot of insects, yeah. kind of skipping the ball mm. and throwing the ball on the sidelines. I've seen him do that. Mm. I've seen him hit a DB in the back of the head mm. when Odell has two steps. I've seen him hit Odell in the foot when Odell is running and he hit him in the back. I bet he couldn't do that again if he well, tried to. the last five games, Baker has played with 
a torn labrum and a cracked shoulder above the torn labrum. Uh, okay, then hold on. Yeah. Well, well, then why won't you say that's the cause of his the connection mm -hmm. between Baker and Odell, as opposed to just blaming Odell? See what you did when you try to when when Baker is a playing well, you blame oh he got a torn labrum, mm -hmm. he got a cracked shoulder, mm -hmm. but you didn't mention any of that when it was o it was Odell's fault. Mm -hmm. And with all those incompletions, what you've been showing, you didn't mention nothing about no labrum, you mm -hmm. didn't mention nothing about a broken bone in his arm. Yep. But the moment Odell drop a pass. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they are terrible. Mm. Get him out of my sight. I don't mm. want to see him. Mm. You know what? I'm glad you brought that up. Could we see those fourth down drops? These oh, are four my big fourth down plays. That's okay. At Chargers? Okay. I got a trick for you. Against with the Arizona? Next segment. Could we see these just to remind No, we don't need to remind them. What's been going on with Odell oh, or not goodness. going on? Here we go. This is at Chargers. This is a huge fourth down in the fourth quarter. What? O o Odell? You got the. Greatest hands this side of Purell. They work 99.9% .9 of the time. That's what you said. Big drop on that one. Then we go Arizona. This is to get back in the game. Odell, are you, you scared of a little contact? Man, man ain't scared of no contact. Looks like you chickened out on that ball. The guy, scared, the guy made a great play. And yeah, then, Odell should have caught both of those here's balls. Here's the, the play of the year. So 